Hello, I'm Nicole Northgarden, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 DIY projects that I have made in the cottage farmhouse style that I still use in my home decor at least a year after I made them. The first project I want to share with you is this two-tiered tray that I made from Dollar Tree products. This is actually one of my favorite things I've made. I used two picture frames and some wooden beads from Amazon and two candlesticks from the Dollar Tree. I'll link videos above if I have them and I do have one for this tray. I'll also link to a playlist in my description box with all the videos. I like this tray so much because I used two candlesticks which made the second tier higher than on a lot of tiered trays that you can purchase. So you can fit taller or larger items on the bottom level. My tray is not fully decorated yet. I will be adding in some pumpkins for fall, but because it's white, it's very versatile and I have used it in spring displays. I've used it for my strawberry displays and I just really love it. Tier trays are so expensive, so it's great to make one and make one that looks so nice if you can. The total cost on this project was probably about $7 the most expensive part being the wood beads from Amazon. I have two other tiered trays that I want to share with you. These are both thrift flips. So the first one I made from two galvanized pieces that I got at a yard sale, and I believe they were both kitchen pieces, and then a Dollar Tree rolling pin that I stained. I drilled pilot holes into the ends of the rolling pin and just screwed the galvanized pieces to the rolling pin. And then I added some little wooden feet. I believe I used E6000 to attach the wooden feet to the bottom galvanized piece. Whatever I did, they have not come off, so that's good. I'm pretty sure it was E6000, but you can watch the video above if you're interested in seeing how I did this. But this one stays on my kitchen counter pretty much all the time, and I just change it up for the seasons. And so right now, this is kind of my late summer tiered tray. I've used my jadeite pieces, and you'll see in my other tiered tray, I have other jadeite pieces. If you're not familiar with jadeite, it's just an old glass type that was made back in like the 20s to 50s. And more recently with reproductions made by companies like Pioneer Woman and the Cracker Barrel. And it's very highly collectible, highly sought after, so I don't have a lot of it, but I love that jadeite green color. It's one of my favorite uh, colors in the kitchen, just very bright and cheery. Again, I love the height between the two levels. It just gives me more options in what I can put on the bottom level. And the total cost of this project was probably about $3. If you're enjoying this video and you love crafting and DIYs for home decor, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. The next cottage farmhouse DIY that I still use a year later is another tiered tray. This one's a little more utilitarian, but it's basically made from a spinning Lazy Susan, a two-level Lazy Susan. They come like this. If you go to thrift stores, you can find them pretty commonly. I found this one at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. I painted it white and then I edged it with black to make it look like enamelware. And underneath all the things on the top level, I believe it says happiness is homemade so I can use it in a more decorative way but it does wind up being very functional here on our counter. I have salt and pepper shakers there that we use every day and then also my measuring cups. They are uh, reproduction jadeite. I got them I think from the Lakeside collection last year but we also use those pretty often but it's nice to have your utilitarian objects that are also pretty out for display. So this gives me the option to have a little bit of decor on my kitchen counters without it being too intrusive or take up too much space.
Moving on from my tiered trays, this is a sewing machine drawer that I created. So if you're familiar with like the rustic farmhouse country decor that's popular right now, a lot of times sewing machine drawers are used in vignettes, but they can be very expensive at antique stores and vintage shops. So I decided to make my own. I took a wooden box that I had as well as a little miniature chalkboard. That's the piece with the wavy edge there and an old drawer pull. And I basically glued them together, painted them, roughed them up, and I made my own sewing machine drawer. I am currently using it on top of my hutch, and sometimes I'll put greenery in it. Right now I just have it styled with an old linen hanky that has beautiful navy blue embroidery on it. I have used it in other vignettes. I'm happy with it right now up here, and I will probably add a bunch of pumpkins to it for fall. My total cost was definitely under $5, and that could go up if you had to buy a wooden box. The next DIY is also a thrift flip, and I made this probably about two and a half years ago. It's one of the first videos I made on YouTube. I will link it above. It's actually on my thrifting channel because at the time I was putting all my content in one place. And it's this little caddy. I originally made it as a desk caddy for my kids but that was a while ago and then the pandemic hit and the way that we were using all of our spaces changed so the caddy moved and now we use it in our family room to corral our remote controls the supplies for this project were a wooden caddy that i found secondhand some stencils from the dollar tree as well as some paint i made it two-sided you might have seen in an earlier photo and I usually keep the number three side facing out, but the do what you love side was cute when it was being used on the desk for my kids. The next DIY project is this plant basket. I never made a video about this. I just kind of got the basket and did it one day and just didn't have time to make a video, but I love this. This kind of mimics things that you can buy at Target or, or at other high-end stores. I got a basket at the thrift store and taped off using some painter's tape, a line, and then I just painted below the line. I love this. It's got that modern farmhouse feel to it. And yeah, I just love it. And you can see here, this is not part of my list, but because I made it more recently, but that is a container that I upcycled in the spring and I use it for my bird food. I really like it, thought I'd show it to you since it's here by this basket. The total cost for me was $3.99 plus the paint. And that $3.99 is the cost of the basket from my local Goodwill. The next farmhouse cottage DIY project I want to share with you is this window that I made with the wreath. And this is another oldie but goodie. If you click the link here, it'll bring you over to my other channel. And I found the window at a rummage sale, I believe. And I just painted it up and then I made this wreath from, I think it was a garland that I found somewhere else. I don't even remember with some pretty gray and cream checked ribbon to hang it my gracious husband uh, got up on the ladder to hang it here in our entryway sorry for the three green dots you might be seeing that our chandelier that hangs there always does weird things with the light from my camera but anyway i love this piece and i've always intended to put a sign above it that says like market or antiques or something but i've never quite gotten around to making it so maybe maybe this year maybe before christmas i'll actually get that done The last three DIY projects that I still use at least a year later are furniture projects. The first is this console table that we have behind our couch. This came from Chris's mom. It was in very bad shape. The finish was really, really bad. So I painted it white and then I used a stencil from the Dollar Tree to stencil on birds, which continue into the center here. But very recently, Chris's brother gave me this piece of slate. It's a slate roof tile from their 100 year old roof that they recently had replaced and he thought I would like it. And so I'm using that as a tray here and it's actually kind of blocking the birds. But I just thought this slate was really cool and I wanted to use it in my decor. And I thought this was a nice place to use it because it's that nice slate gray and it goes with the birds that I painted on the table. And speaking of things that we use for a long time, this metal bird cage of sorts I've had for at least a decade. I've always had it filled with twine balls 
And uh, the most recent thing I did to it was to add this boxwood wreath, but I love this piece. Great to buy decor pieces that you love because then you'll use them for a long time, which is nice. Anyway, I love the table and I'm so glad I gave it new life. The next DIY project that I still use is this old tool chest. I bought this, I think it was for $5 at a yard sale and it was the woman's brother's old tool chest. It was in very rough shape. So I painted it this beautiful shade of blue and I printed something on my laser printer and used that as a transfer because this was before I got a Cricut. So I used that method instead. Again, there's a video above. I originally made this for my craft room, but when the pandemic hit, I no longer had a craft room. It went back to being a bedroom for my daughter. So we brought this tool chest out into the family room and it holds picture frames and artwork that are not in use that are out of season so it's a great way to keep things stored close by but out of sight and i love this piece i think it's a great addition to our family room decor and the next diy that i still use at least a year later is this little end table Ignore the mess to the left of it. This is one of my husband's workspaces, but I picked this up from the side of the road. So I got the table for free, used it for a while with its original finish, but then the drawer broke. So I bought a basket at Target and that fit perfectly in that opening. And I used that to store my linens. And then I painted it up with paint that I already had. I spray painted the hardware. So the cost to me on this was just the cost of the paint. And then of course the cost of the basket. And then I wanted to show you this. This is not my DIY, but I bought this from a yard sale and the ladies who sold it to me said their dad DIY'd this lamp. I think it's adorable with that little lever. So I have it here on my little end table. This is a great place for a cup of coffee. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these 10 DIY projects that I still use in my year round decor at least a year later. And if you've enjoyed this video and you enjoy crafting and making DIYs from Dollar Tree products and thrifted and secondhand products, you have come to the right place. I would love if you'd hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching and spending time in your day here with me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.